Hey, happy Monday to you guys. I hope you had a great weekend. I did here on my end, played with the family, hung out in the pool, because it's 99 degrees here in Florida still. I mean, we're, we're almost moving into October and it's still crazy hot here. Uh, sometimes can't stand living here. Now, the only time it's comfortable is usually around January, February, and the rest of the time it's just hot as nuts. I mean, if you've been here, you know what it feels like when you get out of that rental car, uh, get off the plane, ever how you're getting down here and you walk out and the oven is just waiting for you and just smacks you right in the face. It's just like, Ugh. So anyway, I had a great week. I want to share something exciting with you guys that happened this weekend, and I'll go into that in just a second. But real quick, let me do a couple more plugs for the October giveaway. I had a whole bunch of entries that came in this past weekend. I was excited to see that. So again, October 1st is when I will do the drawing for a free photo session. There's no strings attached, nothing like that. I don't play that. It's just I do this twice a year, once in the spring, once in October to whoever wants to enter. You can use it for a family session, a senior session, modeling session for your kids, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's free. That's just, it's just me. It's just I wanted to throw it out there. So again, from now until the end of the month, just jump on my website and you can enter in the October giveaway link. It's the first menu right on the, uh, the website. Uh, second thing is holiday sessions. Don't forget about that. Uh, the, the pricing and the packaging is fantastic, I believe. Uh, I know I'm a little bit early in comparison to many others out there, but I just wanted to go ahead and get it out there, get it staged, because last year was so crazy for me with everything we had going on. So I wanted to get that out there and have that set and uh, make sure you guys know about that. And then lastly, as you guys have heard me say, I'm going to try to continue to keep vlogging as much as I can throughout the week. Let, let you guys see what's going on and keep you updated with what's going on with me. I don't know if I can get to it on the weekends with things going on there and scheduled events that I'm scheduled for. Of course, wedding season is ramping up huge uh, right now. So a lot of things going on, on the weekends, but definitely throughout the week, I will try to do this as much as I can and as often as I can for you guys just to share what's going on with me um, and, uh, you know, things that are happening in, uh, in my side of the, the world here. Uh, give me just a second here. Uh, so where I'm going is I got a phone call this past weekend. I'm hoping this page will load and it did. All right. I'm just playing. <laughs> so I got a call this past weekend from a photographer in Savannah. So, and let me back up and say, if you've ever been on my website, whether you're on an iPad, mobile device, whatever, this is what you will see a whole lot of video all over the place. And again, this, whether you're on a phone, I'm on an iPad here, you'll see video everywhere. And I did that, designed that purposely so that I could kind of stand out from everybody and not look like every other website out there. And I spent a lot of time doing it. It's not a Wix site, it's not a Weebly site. I designed it from scratch and then put a lot of PHP code and some other JavaScript, some other stuff into that to make it lay out like that. So you can be on, uh, you can be on, a, you know, a, a an iPad, you can be on a PC or Mac, and I can actually control on the back end. You may see video X on the iPad and a completely different video on your phone or on the computer. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, having said all that, I had a photographer from, from Savannah contact me and she ran across my site and basically said, hey, can you help me implement something like this? This is what I've been looking for. And uh, <clears throat> We talked for a little bit. It was one of those things where it's, you know, she was like, are you comfortable doing that? And I'm like, yeah, you know, you're, you're way out there. You don't concern me at all. It'd be different if you were local. <laughs> I kind of can't do that. It'd be a little bit funny. But anyway, since she was out there, I said, yeah, you know, we, I can definitely help you with that. And the coolest thing is I'm actually going to spend some time with her shooting uh, some video for her and then get together and create a whole bunch of this for her on her site. Uh, to make her stand out. So if I ever get to where I stop doing all of this and you guys want something like this, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out, but not while I'm active. So <laughs> I've had that question asked in the past. And I'm like, nah, it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. So um, anyway, I'm loving this. Like I said, these, I mean, it's just a mixture of some various clips. This is from a couple of weddings in the past. Uh, some beach footage. You can see the reflection shot right there that I love to do. Uh, family session. I've got some drone footage coming up here. Uh, just all kinds of stuff that I do. And of course, I've been doing website 
uh, design work. I mentioned this in the past for almost 20 years now, so it's been out for a while. So anyway, I've had this asked of me. Go ahead and get set here. I've had some texts come in. I've had some uh, PMs and DMs come in and said, you know, hey, can you can you go over another beat session or talk about another beat session that that you do and how you edit those? And I got a lot of uh, you know compliments about it. And people love behind the scenes, and that's what I like to do. So we'll go ahead and jump into another beat session here. This was a recent session that I did with this family. I've been working with them for several weeks. And I've been working with them, let's see, I've been working with this one. I won't mention names, even though they're friends of mine. Him and her and this little guy for several years now, and you can see how old he is. I'm, I'm guessing, you know, six is probably five or six. Um, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe about four or five, maybe. Anyway, so I've been working with this, them three for a while, and this, this little guy made his entrance um, a little over a year ago. Maybe, well, maybe 18 months ago or so. And uh, so it was nice to meet him and see him and work with him. And of course, we had a, a, a great time out here. When we met here in Ponds Inlet, it wasn't an ideal time to meet because we ran into weather issues two times previously where we, we couldn't meet. So we met here and it's actually a lot earlier in the day than I would have liked, but we still, you know, we still got some great images from the session. But you can see coming down here, all the mess in the background so you might be thinking let me just back out here because i'm kind of zoomed in that's the that's the image straight out of the camera and when i first look at it look at it i think <laughs> and you might be thinking that as well but this it actually is not too bad this and this was one of those times in those sessions where you know if i if i lean this way if i move this way or whatever with the with the telephoto that you see right up here that i shoot with usually on the beach, it, it, you know, I was gonna get a pole, I was gonna get somebody at some point or something in the background. So that's what's going on here. <clears throat> so having laid all that and said all that, let's go ahead and jump right in and let's clean this guy up here. So I'm gonna press H on the keyboard so I can move around a little bit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take care of all of this over here. I'm gonna try to. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll start doing this. Again, I'm using the clone brush here. I don't have my tablet with me just for simplicity's sake. Uh, uh, you know what, let me back up here. Again, just going, probably going a little bit too fast here at this point, which is why I'm going back and cleaning this up a little bit. And we get this person up here jogging. The main thing that you want to do when you're doing this, and I've seen this on other people's pictures in the area here, and it kind of makes me just kind of scratch my head, but you just want to make sure that, you know, when you sample from the areas that I'm, that I'm doing in here, you don't want to make sure that, you know, every block looks the same, because obviously that's going to be uh, obvious. Um, when you're doing the rails, you want to make sure obviously the rails lined up, they don't look like this or all twisted or whatever. So uh, that's what I'm looking for here. Again, I'm going to move the mouse around here and my phone is beeping nonstop here. I'm going to go in here and again, real high level going. Uh, this may be, this may seem kind of quick guys and it is, but again, I'm just kind of doing this real high level real quickly to show you uh, if I had my tablet, I'd be going even faster. And again, it's not uh, its not that I'm trying to be sloppy and do sloppy work. It's just I've done this for so many years that I know, you know where I'm headed and, and what needs to be done. Um, but you can see like right now how fast this is going. I'm going to come in and get an alien and just eat her belly here. And again, this is where I'm going to sample from other areas and make sure I don't look, make sure the blocks don't look, um, you know, like everything else beside it here. Mm. Come in here and let me just kind of clean this up right through here, this, okay. Again, this is what I'm trying to avoid right here. 
I don't want every block to look like every other block beside it. And that's sometimes the things you run into here at the beach when you've got people in the background like that. Sometimes it's hard to really, uh, really sample, you know, and, and, and get a good sample of what's around. So uh, let me go back and clean this up here. This is going to be a much more work here because I can, another thing too is I can see the reflection right down here in the water. So again, gonna get the brush down. I'm gonna zoom into this area right here. Let me see what I can do here and see if I can clean this up a little bit without touching her arm or affecting her arm. I'm gonna control Z, command Z on that one. Still seeing some coloration in here. So I'm going to go back and tackle this part through here, get that cleaned up. And let's see what we got here. And again, this is kind of real high level, guys. I will come back with the tablet and clean up closer to her, her arm. So even if you were to print this out, you know, a huge canvas or whatever, you would not be able to see anything like that. Um, next part of the image. And again, I'm just kind of drag around, make sure I didn't miss anything here. I'm going to start tackling all the craziness that's on the right side of the image here. And I know this is going to be more difficult than I would like. But again, when I when I shot this image, with with what I saw in the background, I, I thought, you know, this won't be too bad. It'll be a little bit of work, but not, not too bad. I've had much, much worse than this. Um, <laughs> I've had so much worse where I'm like, no, I, I won't touch that image. I mean, that'll take me half an hour to clean up. And so anyway, but this is not too bad. Let me just jump back in here and keep going. Uh, big areas like this where the sky is kind of uniform and, and the same, I'll, I'll obviously make the brush a lot bigger. Uh, and again, that's what I'm trying to avoid here. Don't definitely don't want to do that. And clean up here. I want to clean up here. Uh, I'm gonna clean up here. I'm gonna have to go smaller on the brush here to get around his head. All right, so that's somewhat okay. Again, I'm seeing some reflection here. I'm just trying to get rid of that because I'm probably gonna get rid of that area uh, up there. I'm gonna have to go back and take out all these little ripples in here. So whacking the head here, whacking the head here. Let's see what we got here. And get this person standing here. Now here's where the fun comes in because this is part of what was left of a, of a ramp from a while back. Um, the hurricane got this, I think, two years ago. I think it was. So. Just kind of looking around and seeing what else I can clean up. I'm uh, make come back and clean up that area here. So let me tackle this nice innocent lady here on the beach and see if I can just obliterate her. I'm gonna hit her reflection first, and I'll come back and actually get her in the chair and knock her out. All right, here we go. Wham, wham, wham. Um, again, getting a reflection. And here's where it's going to be. Here's where it's going to be interesting. I'm just going to have to make this water just appear like it's extending up through here in order to get her out of there. Uh. All right, so she's pretty much gone. I, I can see some area right in here that I need to clean up in terms of remnants of that. Um, the other area that's going to be difficult is right here with with these ladies here I'm just gonna do one big one and just see what I got here Man, just not liking all right um, and then I'm gonna come in here and see if I can extend this down a little bit 
I'm gonna come in here and see if I can extend this up. And then come back and whack this. All right, so there's what we're looking at. So it's not too bad. No, it didn't take me too long. So again, running through an image of, uh, of how I clean that up. And uh, yeah, that's, that's not too bad at all. So um, like I said, I, I, when I'm doing the reflection shots, which I love to do, I will be snapping away and snapping away. And then I'll pick the ones that look the best that you know like here i can see you know this little guy's looking um, they both are looking he's looking at me i mean that's it's a great image to work with so i'll zero in on that tackle that and and clean that one up a lot um, there may be others where things are just too difficult to get that are behind them poles behind them people behind them i had one where uh, that particular lady that you saw she was right up against uh, an arm uh, there was another boy that was against her arm you know, you just kind of have to weigh, you know, all that. So this wasn't too bad. And then uh, what I did from there is I pulled out some of the color and everything else into the image and pulled it, pulled it, I guess, pulled it back from the image, pulled it into the image. And uh, so this is the image that they will receive um, here. You know, it's, it's like, out of the camera, it's nice. But again, sometimes in Daytona, depending on the weather, you just get a kind of a sky that looks like bleh. Um, so a lot of your beach photographers will do this and I just kind of add a, like, just a little bit of, of spice to the sky just to kind of fluff it up, so to speak. So um, you can see some of the coloration that comes in here uh, through here. But again, kind of your before and after. And, and again, it's all about making your images the best that they can be. I mean, you pay a lot of money to have these images and to create some beautiful beach image, images. So especially when we're near the water, close to the water, um, if I can, I will try to, you know, sprinkle some, some pizzazz in there. I don't always do this. It just kind of depends on the look, kind of depends on the lighting, uh, things like that, to make your images the best that they can be. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes session. Let me go ahead and back back out here. And I'll do a lot more of these. You'll see some more of these with family sessions. I will jump into Premiere Pro and After Effects. Effects? 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 <laughs> show you some compositing and editing that I do within those applications. After Effects is a lot of fun. There's a, a, a lot that, go, that can happen inside that application. Um, that's, a, that's a beast on its own. And I'll show you some work that I've, I've done in there before and, and some behind the scenes that, of that. So uh, again, hope you've enjoyed this. Again, October 1st, drawing. First link on the website, make sure you enter. Um, I love doing this. I love connecting with people. I love getting to know you guys. Um, that's just the way I am. I love, you know, networking with people. And uh, if you can, uh, if, if, you, if you're interested in some great images, if you're interested in doing some, or having some great video uh, shot for you. Uh, I do a lot of commercials, commercial work, and I do a lot of wedding video, do a lot of weddings. So um, if that interests you at all, let me know. Um, love to work with you and a wedding season for me and for a lot of other vendors in the area is ramping up so uh, you know, we'll be busy, busy in the next couple of months here so anyway hope you guys enjoyed that and I will catch you on the next let's see did I, did I mention about the vlog coming up here I can't remember if I did in the, in the beginning or not um, I'm planning <laughs> let me stop right let me let me put the brakes on for a second and mention that I'm planning out the rest of this week and next week uh, in terms of times and when I'll be live and all that. So I'm trying to get that up now. So if you want to follow along, you can. I'll be just be talking about, you know, different topics, different things going on with me, uh, gear, gear that I own, things like that. Um, so I'll have that up pretty soon and you can follow along with that. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you enjoy hanging out with me for a little bit. And uh, this kind of takes my mind off all the COVID craziness. I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, you know, wearing the mask, keeping the distance, doing, doing all that. And I'm just hoping, hoping, though sometimes, um, anyway, I'm just hoping this mess will be over soon because, yeah, I won't say much more than that. I'm just, I can't stand this. This is just crazy. So just how it's affected everybody, how it's affected the businesses, how it's just affected, 
you know, being together. Uh, anyway, like that's a whole other, I could talk half an hour on that. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of the week. You will see me a couple more times. I'm going to shoot for tomorrow. Not sure what time, but I'll try to go. I'm going to try to shoot for tomorrow around 1230-ish, around lunchtime, but I will let you know. But uh, um, like I said, I'm going to try to plan these out. Anyway, <laughs> I'm closing this one down now. You guys have a great rest of the week, and I will catch you.